What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Spider-Man 2. I don't know if you could tell there, but I was within like 10 feet of hitting the ground. I was at the lowest level of windows. In this episode, we are going to finish up chapter... Uh, what is it? What chapter are we in? There's no number up on the... Hmm, I don't know. Can I... Doesn't matter. We're going to help another random pedestrian next time we see one. There's one behind me there. And with this, we will finish the chapter and move on to our next exciting event. Last episode, we went through an obstacle course. Hopefully, in this one, we actually get to have fight hey. a real villain. Help! I just heard gunshots. Help! I live in Harlem. Drop your weapons. You ain't taking us. No one's getting shot on my watch. I was surprised uh, on Reddit today. Uh, this just reminds me of uh, what's, what's just happened here. What has just transpired in this video? I was reading a Reddit thread. It was on Ask Reddit, uh, the that subreddit, and the question was, "What's the scariest place in America?" And it was like, you know, like scary, like you wouldn't want to go through there at night, kind of scary. Happy to help. And everyone in everyone in the comments was like, "Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Pick any city. You don't want to go there." I was like, "Damn, that's just." That's somewhere in the neighborhood of racist, definitely. Sugar and Spice and Dr. Octavius. Alright, chapter 8 we're in now. Oh, uh, slow-mo punch. Thank you for that loading screen. I guess I should have used my spidey sense, but honestly I forget I have that stuff. Oh, did you see that? The guy just got shot. Twice he just shot that guy. Man, why am I a supervillain? This guy in the trench coat is bulletproof. Or a superhero, rather. I feel like this guy should be out guarding the streets at night. Little do, little do we know, this is Superman here on vacation. Wearing his bulletproof trench guy, I don't know. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. Where are we going? Dr. Octavius' apartment, yes. I would love for there to be some wonderful industrial accident that would make him have to use a giant octopus suit. That would just be perfect. Actually, I believe what's actually going on is we were invited to dinner. Not as Spider-Man, but as old Petey Parker. The slacker who falls asleep in class when he manages to show up. It's a good thing to be known for, is the kid who sleeps. Not really. You don't want to be known as the kid who doesn't pay attention and just sleeps in class. Because that just makes everybody think you've been out getting really trashed and getting drunk and partying the night before. And uh, even if that's true, you don't want everybody to know. You want everyone to think that you're really paying attention and that physics is your favorite class and that you just couldn't be more riveted. Because whether it's true or not, it's going to make the professor like you more. Which is always good for you. And we're running and swinging again. There we go. Just a little little break from <laughs> being a spider there for a second. Ah! Don't you hate it when your web gets caught in a tree? I remember reading in. Was it was it in a comic online maybe or maybe it was one of the movies? Whoop! Of course, there's a random crime. Oh no! Random crime deactivated because I got too close to the apartment. Now it's urgent that I go inside. Apparently, we're late for dinner. But somebody, a little girl, sent Spider-Man a letter or something and asked him... I don't know how you would send him a letter, but she contacted him and asked why his webs ah, weren't just all over the Welcome. city. Like, <laughs> after he swings around, why there isn't just web everywhere. Again. You two chat, I'll go check on dinner. Thank you for having me. I'm trying to talk about webs, and y'all are just having a cutscene. I don't know cut how scene. manage without Rosie. When you find the woman for you, Peter, don't let her go. Too late. <laughs> I digress. Here, let me show you something. Actually, Dr. Octavius... May I ask you something? Hmm? The fusion reactor is brilliant, but how will you control the reaction? Ah, that is the secret, isn't it? I... I'm afraid the lecture will have to be delayed. Dinner is ready. Ah. Well, I'll explain it over dinner, Peter. Why do I recognize her voice? That voice actor, I definitely know that voice. Who is that? You like how they're teasing you with the arms suit? The eight-arm the eight thing that he wears? Are amazing. My head is still spinning from talking to him. I guess it's forearms. Oh no. Mary Jane's play. If I hurry, I can still make it in time. You see, this isn't even him being late because he's Spider-Man. This is just him being late because he's a jerk. He, he tells Mary Kate... Mary Kate. He tells, he tells Mary Jane that he's going to show up for her play. And then... 
point. I'm just realizing. I, f I feel like in like every other episode or so, I'm just criticizing Spider-Man for being a terrible friend and a terrible boyfriend. Just it's like I don't know when this became a, a talk show, but there you go. Anyway, he he has a, a a dinner planned with Dr. Octavius apparently on the same night as Mary Jane's play. I mean. Even if he doesn't have to stop and be a superhero for a few minutes, he's going to be late just from his Peter Parker obligations. That's just bad time management, man. You can't blame that on being a superhero. That's all on you, Petey. Covered from here. Let's do this. That was an interesting explosion and a very delayed alarm. Apparently now they're just gonna run into the flames what? to steal whatever it is. Not now. Not now? I'm gonna miss the first act of Mary Jane's crappy play! This- I mean, this is obviously not on Broadway. I'm gonna go and take care of the sniper first, I think. By just tossing him off the roof. Back off. This seems to work. See, it stays like this, that I wish I had the multi-web that lets you shoot four at once. Why can I, guys? Oh, oh. How about a little consideration for other people's time? Uh, the fighting in this game is fun, but the punching aspect of it is just a lot of pressing the B button. The only fun part of the fighting okay. is using the webs. No, I'm fine, but they're getting away with my huh? diamond! What? Get out of the back of that truck, Sonny Jim. I'm not late or anything. Now we have to chase this car down. Oh. Ah, no. I want to on that side of the building. There we go. And on the car. You picked a bad day to take me off. Stop it. I guess I finally have your attention. I'm putting a stop to this right Woo. now. It's amazing how well you can defy physics as long as you're punching an opponent in the air. You basically can just hover forever. Let me see if I can demonstrate this well. Ow. You there. Go up. I'm going to join you up there. Eventually, you can do it. You can do it three or four times uh, b before you hit the ground, and it sort of stops your downward momentum. It it shouldn't. It doesn't make any sense at all in terms of actual physics, but it makes it a lot more fun to beat people up in the air. That's for sure. Where where am I going? Am I breaking into a balcony? John Jameson, what are you doing here? Well. There's this beautiful girl in the cast. Did she say Jameson? Someone shoot me now. Stalking girls now? <laughs> well, that's pretty pathetic, don't you think? No, just you. Or is she on your naughty list, too? Uh, not exactly. What do you care, anyway? No reason. I'm just dropping by to say hi. By the way, remember those guys you beat up the other day in the art gallery? I remember. The well, it turns ones. out there's a whole ring of them. I just happened to find their hideout the other day. I could show you. If you can take a break from the peeping Tom routine, that is. Uh, sure. But I really wasn't spying, you know. Right. You were creeping, Spidey. Don't even lie. Everybody done it. You never know when I'm just going to throw in a random rap lyric. Hey, I was just going easy on you before. Huh. Moink? Oops, that was a poorly managed web. I don't know where she's at. There we go. Oh, Another uh, opportunity for that little web nice yank. Night, huh? No need to be nervous. No, that wasn't very far. What made you come get me? Isn't that what you do? Well, yeah, but. Hey, 
I can be nice. I don't always bite. Unless you want me to. Come on now. Don't fall behind. Um. I'm sorry, all I heard, all I heard was behind. Isn't there a point in one of the movies where Spider-Man is in a really good mood for some reason? And he's sort of just leisurely swinging around? I feel like that would be the attitude that he would try and do here. He would try and be real casual and it just wouldn't work. He would just be awkward and do you always strange. Take a time like this? Come on, let's, Come go. On, let's go. Oh, whoa! 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 I'm predicting the dialogue at this point. I have, I've become one with the game. Either that or they just use like the most cliched first thing that came to their head kind of writing style. Which, I mean, I guess works. Look at this, this lady's as fast as we are. Well, she doesn't jump as well, but she runs just as well. You're finally here. I was just about to settle in for a little nap. All right, let's go. The nap thing is kind of stupid, honestly. I mean, it goes with the cat physique or the mystique, whatever. But uh, still, just uh, this game. I remember it for the gameplay, not for the dialogue. Let me put it that way. There they are, as advertised. Get the rest of this stuff in the truck. We gotta get out of here before Spider-Man shows up. Is that the guy from Rocky IV? Hmm. Nice sculpture. Whoa! Oh man, I'm gonna land on somebody's head and just start punching as I. Oh Jesus, they have a lot of guns. Oh my goodness, uh, I lost a lot of health very quickly there. Holy crap, my spy sense is uh, a tingling, to say the least. I gotta get my own stuff going here. I gotta start using my sprint punch a little more. Let's see, moving quickly and knock them in the air. That was, that was bad there at the beginning. Good if I can see the bullets coming. There it goes. That sprint jump punch is beautiful. Apparently I threw a guy up into the this, this fire escape, or maybe he was just guarding up there. If I could jump up and punch him, that would be amazing. There he goes. Maybe she learned from cat fighting. Ah ha 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 ha. Show me the morning. Ha ha ha, art puns. Art puns, art puns. You know, we actually make a pretty good team. Cat? Ah, uh, she took that statue. I must have sucker tattooed on my forehead. Yeah. And there's gullible written on the ceiling. It's weird that after the missions where you would actually need health, they don't give you any. Weird, to be honest. So now I need to go rescue a balloon if, if I don't want to be swinging around the city with half of my health gone. I don't know how it works. That's just how it is. Here we go. There's a looks like there's a hideout down here somewhere. I guess I need that to enter that from the rear. Right in front of me. Yes. Well, actually, she took it right behind you. I would say, but whatever. How do I? Where is this? Here we go. Oh, look! It's a club! Get it? <laughs> you guys must be the dancing fools I've heard about. Oh, there's a second floor up here. Nice. This isn't even really a club, it's more like a discotheca. Oh, God. I don't want to get punked by these guys. Um, let me just exit here. Let me get myself some room. Just, <laughs> just keep doing this. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. They're nimble. Whee! And the third one. 
kind of toss it through their friends. what I'm talking about with the air physics. Look at this. I think if I waited long enough and just let him kind of float up a little after each punch, I could probably just fly forever. I wonder I wonder if there's a way to break the game by doing that. I bet you there's some kind of fancy glitch you can do. And the rest of the people who aren't in the gang were just like, wow, it's really empty in here now. This is kind of nice. I have the whole club to myself. Oh, there it was. That's the wall sprint move. I just remembered that I could even do that. You basically get near a wall... And then you have to be, like, sprinting when you hit X, and you'll run up it. It's the fastest way to go up short distances, but it peters out. There you go. Yeah, get it? Peters out. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this again. So you can use it like this to just run up the side of buildings. Kind of cool. Hello? Problems? You got problems? I think the police are chasing someone. A car just came through here, going way too fast. Why does his voice sound familiar, too? If that chase keeps up, someone could get hurt. He sounds like the... He sounds like the, the old Jewish guy from Independence Day. That's who he sounds like. Uh, the one who plays... I guess it's Jeff Goldblum's father. Maybe. Whoops, I hit A instead of X when that Spidey Sense thing popped up. Damn it! Don't land in front of the car, Spider-Man. Land on the car. I'm looking forward to getting Multi-Web 3. Just one more person I can wrangle up at the same time. Whoops, there we go. I managed to do this, the, like the sprint uppercut, well, uppercut, 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 when I wasn't even on the ground yet. Where are these health power-ups falling down from? Like, should I be praising the sun after each of these? Is that how this works? Buy the level 4 swing upgrade from the store. I can, I can tell us something had happened, because it went from uh, day to night, which indicates what time is passing in the game. That's what going from night to day means. Oh my god, the things I say sometimes. Whoops. That might have been a little bit too far. This guy probably just crapped his pants. Spider-Man just fell from 20 stories up and splatted his face on the floor. This looks like it should be a Spidey store. Uh, how do I... Maybe not. Okay, it's just a... Where are Spidey stores? There's one over there. That's kind of far away. There's probably a closer one. Yeah, there we go. Maybe no, even closer? Nope. Alright, I need to go like two blocks up and four blocks over or so. Not a long trip. Not when you're Spider-Man, at least. Maybe for a car that might take you a few minutes, but when you swing around the way we do, ain't nobody gonna stop you. It's one of the benefits of setting your game in New York. Uh, it's really easy to make a, a world map that's diverse, but it's hard to get lost in. It's not, it's not a maze, but it's big the enough that you can get man. a sense that... You can get lost in it in the sense that you don't always know exactly where you are, but you can't... Oh, balloon. You can't get lost in the sense that you simply cannot find your way back to something, because it's easy to find your way around when you try to, but if you feel like losing yourself and just enjoying the experience, it's big enough that you can do that. New York City. A good city for video games and movies and everything else. Plus it's recognizable so everybody kind of knows where you're at when you're in New York City. At any point in an air combo, press A to execute a kick that will propel you higher into the air. That'd be interesting, but really in an air combo you want to just keep punching the guy until he dies. Uh, let's see. Rising knee kick. Knock your target into the air with a powerful knee attack. That would be useful if we didn't have the sprint punch that did the same thing. Uh, although maybe if you do that in the air, during an air combo, you can hit the guy higher. I wouldn't be surprised. Web yank your target and hit enemies directly behind you. Yeah, so you grab people and throw them behind you and hit people that are behind you. Strike the ground with great force, just to show off how manly you are. It doesn't do anything else. Uh, launch kick. After dodging an attack, press BA. Nope. Dizzy strike. The target will be stunned and dizzy. BBX. 
That could actually be useful. Here we go, the hero punch. Charge your jump meter to full and then press B to knock your enemies away. I like that one. Here we go, level 4 air combo. Hit attack after your third punch to knock the enemy away. Must first purchase level 3 air combo. I'm not sure if I even want that, because I don't want to knock the enemy away once he's in an air combo. At that point, they're pretty much helpless, and you just keep punching them until you got them. Here we go. Multiplayer level 2. We can now tie up three people at once. That's just something I like to do. Wall sprint duration upgrade. Increases how long you can spend wall sprinting. Very nice. <laughs> Superfly spider guy. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. That's enough for now. I'm not too crazy about the upgrades. We're going to put a bunch of them. And the fact that they require you to get more and more points as we go along means that you're always going to have plenty to spend. When aliens attack! In the next episode of Let's Play Spider-Man 2. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then.